Hey guys, Jerome here. I wanted to do a video talking about uh, yesterday, June 3rd, 2020. It's a special day for me because it represents my one year following the carnivore diet. Uh, what a journey it has been. So today I thought I would share a couple um, pictures with you guys, um, give my thoughts about how I did it then versus how I do it now. Uh, take a look at a couple different approaches, uh, how to do carnivore, and give my thoughts about this last year. I can't believe uh, how quickly this time has gone by. So let's uh, let's just go right to pictures here. So this uh, first picture of me, it's me right here in the middle, uh, near my heaviest. This was um, April uh, 2014, I believe. Um, near my heaviest, I was 297 pounds. Uh, family photo. Uh, my daughter was a couple months old. It was her first Easter, and uh, this is me close to being my heaviest. Um, for those that don't know, I was a volunteer firefighter. I was trying to climb the company ladder at the uh, company I worked at, and I was a uh, full-time school. Um, I was in nursing school, so trying to do those three, I did not have a lot of time to work out. Uh, so in knowing that I would have to do something to take control of my life, um, I remembered Mike Menser, bodybuilder from the 70s, that basically advocated a very low volume, um, low frequency approach to working out. He would work out one or two days a week with most of his clients, uh, maybe 15 to 20 minutes uh, total exercise a session. And um, I, I gave that a shot and it sent me down this new path. So within um, basically a year, I lost 90 pounds. Uh, began reading philosophy, studying everything I could about biomechanics of exercise and nutrition, and that kind of brings me to where I am today. So next picture I want to show you is um, me in most of the, the quote-unquote off season, what I think is something that's very sustainable for a large number of people. Um, I'll show you the picture. So here's me. My stomach's fairly flat but not well defined, and uh, this is how I look most of the time. Um, if I just want to have a diet that is essentially comfortable, um, I can pretty much eat whatever I want, um, still look pretty good uh, most of the time. And then the picture on the right is me, nine months carnivore, uh, 203 pounds. Um, and to get that to get from one to the next, all I do is just drop out everything that's not carnivore, and then the weight seemingly just falls right off. And if I had to track calories, I would track calories. But um, the difference between these two photos in terms of body composition, how long it takes, is maybe like four to six weeks. So every individual has to kind of figure out what quote unquote works best for them in terms of what their ultimate goals are, how they want to look, how they want to feel, how they want to fit food into their social life. Um, so I, I think instead sometimes of idolizing six pack abs, what we need to be doing is just encouraging a healthy lifestyle. And if you're, you know, 90% carnivore and you have one or two cheat meals a week, or if you're carnivore all day and then you have something that's a little off program at night, you could get through most of the year being uh, fairly strong, fairly healthy, um, flat stomach, not necessarily a set of abs, but you can look pretty good and feel pretty good most of the year, you know, maybe 12, 15% body fat for most men. Um, and that's an approach that some people may want to consider. And then if you want to get leaner, uh, a little bit closer to the picture on the right and some of these next pictures that I'll show you, um, then just go 100% carnivore. And if you notice that you're not losing weight, switch to leaner cuts. Or if you're really mathematically minded, then you can start looking at like tracking calories. So to get to um, the picture on the right and then also these next pictures, again, I'm only about 203 pounds here, five foot 11. Um, this is for most people is pretty ripped uh, for most individuals. So if you want to get like bodybuilding lean, fitness model lean, I would have had to push it a little bit longer. That's what I'm doing right now with my uh, carnivore contest prep. Um, click on my channel underneath, go to over to playlists, and you can find me breaking down my food and my exercise every single day as I uh, use carnivore diet to get bodybuilding lean, which is a, a level of leanness that is beyond what you see on your screen right now. But to just feel good, have a good amount of energy, be what most people would consider to be pretty ripped, um, you don't need to kill yourself. Uh, so at this point, I was 100% carnivore. Uh, this is nine months after starting carnivore, down about 30 pounds. Actually, I think it was down 33 pounds here. And uh, actually, this is pretty maintainable. Um, 
it just it, it kind of has to factor in your individual preferences. How often do you want to go off program? How often do you want to enjoy um, eating at holidays with friends and family or coworkers and not really uh, paying attention to what you put in your mouth? And that's an area of optionality, again, that a lot of people have to consider. So this was at nine months, and here's me, um, 205 pounds, so only two pounds heavier. Uh, I got some more favorable lighting here in the gym. This is uh, the bathroom, so I look a little bit more smooth. But 205 pounds three months later. Uh, maintaining healthy body weight, good amount of strength. And again, I'm getting lean for my carnivore contest prep. So there's a number of um, things I wanted to touch on after those pictures. So first of all is how I started the carnivore diet versus how I do it now. When I first started carnivore, um, I was taking a multivitamin every day. I figured, you know what, I might as well just play it safe, take a multi, and uh, I would just eat when I was hungry and not eat when I wasn't. Um, and I was including a lot more cheese back then. So when I started carnivore, I was 236 pounds and I was coming to carnivore from a ketogenic diet. Um, so switching to carnivore, um, I was taking a beef liver every single morning, was taking a multivitamin, uh, I was eating when I was hungry, I was eating a lot of cheese, and I went from 236 to 215, um, and 215, let me go back to the pictures here, 215 is pretty close to what you see on the left here for me. Uh, flat stomach, a little bit of definition, but nothing too, um, nothing too crazy, so, Whoop. there we go. And being at 215 pounds, I actually tried to overeat to see what would happen if I was 100% carnivore, but I I just ate when I was hungry, I ate when I was bored, and I couldn't seemingly get over about 215. I'd waver between 213 to 215, so um, there might be some room for uh, individual genetics within there, but I know some people have experienced the same thing. Uh, even if they're kind of bored eating on carnivore, it doesn't seem to pack on the same way as if they went off program. So again, that's something that you're going to have to experiment with in your own journey. Um, and then getting leaner from that point, um, that took me to about six months in. Then I started to tighten things up. Then I introduced intermittent fasting, um, cut back on the cheese because living here in Wisconsin, Southeast Wisconsin, uh, there's a lot of cheese. Cheese is everywhere. Um, and I could sit down and eat a almost two pound bag of cheese curds and think nothing of it. Um, but wanting to get leaner than that takes a little bit more work, uh, depending on your genetics and your activity level. So, um, from about six months to nine months, that's where I got uh, as lean as you saw in some of those pictures. And then from nine months up until now, I've actually, for the most part, just been kind of taking it easy. Still been mostly carnivore up until this carnivore contest prep. Kept my weight right around 205 to 210 pounds. Um, I know a lot of people question the long-term stick to of carnivore. Uh, Long-term success rate with vegan diets is very, very low. It's like 2%. And most diets are kind of the same way. But carnivore, um, you know, what I look forward to now is salty animal fat. I look forward to meat. That's what I crave. That's what I want. And I sleep so much better and I feel so much better and I don't have headaches and I don't have the migraines that I used to have on carnivore. Um, this is hands down the easiest diet I've ever tried in terms of, uh, having to stick to it. I'm basically never hungry. Um, sometimes I eat, and if you check out my contest prep logs, you find that some of these days I'm only eating like 1,100, 1,300 calories a day. And even some of that sometimes feels like I have to push myself to eat that much. Um, other days I can put away, you know, three to five pounds of meat in a day and really think nothing of it. So this has been uh, a really fantastic journey. And for those who aren't aware, uh, on top of being pre-diabetic, on top of um, having migraines, probably, you know, one to two really severe migraines a month, headaches almost every day, uh, those have all stopped when I went carnivore. Um, basically, I don't have headaches anymore. I haven't had a migraine uh, since I went carnivore. The only time I'll have a headache now or a migraine now is if I go off of plan and I uh, have something that's like way, way, way not healthy. Like a regular cheap meal, like if I were to go to a restaurant and have a meal, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but if I were to like sit down and have a decent size bag of candy, uh, yeah, that messes me up. Um, I'm sleeping better. Uh, my energy is better. So most nights I sleep four to five hours and uh, I used to take two naps a day with that. I don't even take those naps anymore. Um, I 
what else do I notice with carnivore? Um, very resistant to sunburn, which is crazy. I know it's a, a lot of people have that same N equals one experience. Um, but basically I, I can be outside almost all day and uh, not get sunburned. Um, and I just feel so much better. I, my joints don't ache. I used to have knee pain, ankle pain, and hip pain. That's all gone. Um, this one year in carnivore has been amazing. So I wanted to share that with you guys, share some pictures. And uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you picked up something from this video, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Give it a like. And uh, if you want to see more content like this, um, also like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. That helps YouTube list these videos a little bit higher amongst everybody that talks about carnivore. And uh, I want to bring good information to you guys. So thanks for watching. I will check in with you soon.